Hi everyone! Before the beginning of a new tomato season comes the exciting moment of choosing new, not yet known varieties, to which we approach every year with such trepidation. And of course, we hope that the tomatoes we grow will be tasty, and we will want to grow them again. Unfortunately, life sometimes surprises us, and they are not always pleasant. Some tomatoes do not show the result that we expect from them. And today I want to talk about such varieties. Tomato Express is on its way, so please have a seat as we begin. I will start with a tomato variety that I had high hopes for. The name alone already sounds attractive. Fleur de Rieger tomato. Of course, when I saw its photos on the internet, I immediately wanted to grow it. Tomatoes are really beautiful, strongly ribbed, and look like some kind of flower, deep dark red in color. It was a pleasure to look at them. At the same time, and the yield can be called quite good. Naturally, I had no reason to assume that I would be disappointed in this tomato, especially since the fruits were also large and weighed from 1 pound to 1 pound and 1 and a half ounce or 450 to 500 grams, and all that was left was to make sure they tasted good. But despite the fact that the variety comes from France, where a lot of flavorful tomatoes are bred, the taste of Fleur de Rieger was not what the masters of cooking from the Champs Elysees dream about. I cannot call it completely bland, but it tasted rather mediocre. What a pity, because these are really very beautiful tomatoes. But as you know, appearance can be deceiving. It's a shame that such beauty, both inside and out, was not matched by the same flavor. Fortunately, at the same time I grew another French tomato called Moya Noir, and thanks to it, I'm still convinced that in France they know how to breed really tasty tomatoes. You can have different attitudes toward tomatoes with anthocyanins. Some people like them, some prefer more classic colors. Personally, I have a sympathy for such varieties, and every year I discover new tasty and productive varieties of anthocyanin color. And having made the choice in favor of the tomato indigo apple, I never doubted for a second that the result would please me. Yes, one thing is certain, they have excellent yields. And and the appearance is good. Tall and strong plants, even in hot weather, form abundant bunches of beautiful round tomatoes of bright red color with anthocyanin. The tomatoes are dense and even at full ripeness can hang on the vine for quite a long time and do not spoil. The fruit weighed in around 4 ounces or 116 grams and it would seem, what else could I be unhappy with this variety? Especially since indigo apple is a cross between indigo rose and a red cherry tomato, which is very strange because in my case there is absolutely nothing left of the cherry tomato flavor. Tough skin, bland taste, lack of any bright tartness or sweetness. No, that's not why I grow tomatoes. Although they are certainly good for canning, you will hardly eat them raw, especially when you consider the huge number of really tasty anthocyanin varieties, which I liked much more. Blood Moon. Xanadu Green Goddess, and what's worth at least the line of Star Wars tomatoes, which are all varieties with anthocyanin, and they are all tasty. So with such a great choice, I will give up on the indigo apple tomato in the future. I also like growing cherry tomatoes. First of all, they are delicious, and secondly, they are convenient to use in cooking. Their stems are thin and do not require much energy, which means the fruits get more nutrition. In recent years, many varieties have pleased me with different qualities. Pera naranja, its taste, color and unusual shape. Black cherry, high yield and sweet flavor. Yellow cherry potato leaf huge clusters of delicious yellow tomatoes. Of course, candy sweet icicle, with a sharp tip and insanely pleasant acidity. Unfortunately, I can't say the same about the Luc Fichois tomato. Although this is an unusual variety from Belgium and has a number of undeniable advantages, it was the first time I saw such an interesting plant, which stopped growing quite early. Then the suckers began to grow from the multifloral clusters, and then new suckers grew from the new flower clusters and so on. 
The tomatoes are pear-shaped and of beautiful yellow-red striped color. The plant is growing very fast, and when rooted one of the suckers in June, I had time to harvest from it. Just look at this huge number of flowers. I've been watching these plants with curiosity, and I would have thought Lukfishwas was a good variety, but for one thing, it's prone to cracking. That's probably the only reason why I would not do this one again. On the other hand, the taste was not bad, and maybe in other conditions Lukfishwas is able to show its best qualities. In any case, I don't regret growing this amazing variety, but in the future I will prefer denser cherry tomatoes with a stronger flavor. Unfortunately, the next tomato also did not meet my expectations. This is a variety Malcolm Lincoln from West Virginia. I can't call it not productive, especially given the size of the fruits. By the way, they are quite nice, heart-shaped, but at the same time it was also late ripening. The first bunches began to ripen only by the end of August. By this time, other beefsteak tomatoes have long pleased me with their fruits. The tomatoes were large and quite juicy, but the taste left me without any special emotions. It was not the brightest, especially if we are talking about pink tomatoes. Maybe it didn't like my soil, maybe the reason is something else, but in terms of taste, it could not become a worthy competitor for, for example, Yoder is German pink or Michael's Portuguese monster tomato, and in general I have grown a lot of delicious pink varieties, and many of them I have already told you, and about some more I will tell, so I do not plan to grow Malcolm Lincoln tomatoes anymore. To sum up, however, I will say this. We all know the phrase, the biggest risk is not taking any risk. So it's impossible to find the best varieties without risking to grow those that will not turn out to be the tomatoes of our dreams. There are so many varieties and they can show themselves in different ways under different conditions. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe. You can watch reviews of many other other tomatoes on my channel. Have a good new gardening season everyone and of course, love tomatoes, grow tomatoes. This is the Lucky Garden channel and see you soon.